Their attempts by two commissioners to resume work at the electoral body's headquarters were thwarted for the second time today after a defiant Wafula Chebukati declined to meet them. Consulat Ankatha and Margaret Mwachanya had to leave the IBC offices unceremoniously after Chebukati declared that their resignation in April was final. Stephen Latour now reports. They had planned a meeting with IBC Chair Wafula Chebukati this morning to explain their U-turn and why they think they should continue serving in the Electoral Commission. When Wafula Chebukati arrived at his office minutes after 9 a.m., two commissioners, Margaret Mwachanya and Consulat Ankatha, were already seated at the waiting room, but Chebukati declined to see them. And as far as the commission is concerned, they are no longer commissioners of IABC. Now, IABC does not have offices for former commissioners. You cannot come here and say, I'm a former commissioner, give me space to work from here. And so, as far as we are concerned, they are not supposed to be working here. And this has to be made very, very clear to the country. The commissioners had claimed that a recent court ruling that their resignation did not comply with regulation gives them a lifeline to return to the commission. The judge said the resignation was unprocedural, but the judge went ahead and said it's in public domain that these commissioners resigned. And the judge went ahead to say that the, re the replacement of the vacancies must be done by way of appointing new commissioners. That's in the judgment. So in April, Chebukati penned a letter to Treasury PS Kamau Thuge seeking to stop their monthly salary and benefits. But to date, he says he is yet to receive a confirmation that the payments were indeed stopped. The commissioners, through an affidavit in court, have claimed their dues were suspended soon after they resigned in April. At the time, the commissioners say they had lost faith in Chebukati and accused him of poor leadership. They have since cleared with the commission. The procedure of resigning and clearing is very clear. They returned all the assets of the commission, the vehicles, the laptops, the phones, the budgets for IBC, the insurance cards. So all, all the assets were returned and as far as the commission is concerned, they are no longer commissioners of IABC. The issue of whether there's mischief or not, I think all of us can see. Later today, activist Tokio Mtata filed a suit seeking to have the two commissioners barred from returning to office. And so the standoff persists at the IABC's nerve center, the anniversary towers, with the IABC chair of Fula Chebukati insisting that the commissioners who resigned in April are not welcome and that their offices have since been put under lock and key. Chebukati says the commissioners have violated the constitution on integrity chapter. Stephen Leto, Citizen Television, Anniversary Towers. Nairobi.